Hey winners, welcome or welcome back to this channel. If this is the first time that you're watching a video of mine, I'm Winnie Buoyancy. I make locks and travel, predominantly solo travel content. If you're an oldie and you've come back to watch this face of mine, thank you so much for returning. As you can see by today's title, I am about to take my last 2022 trip. So today is the 31st of December. So it's my last 2022 trip and also my first 2023 trip because I am going to be there for a couple of days into the new year. Yeah. It's currently about 10 minutes to 8. I am absolutely cutting it fine. This is terrible for me. Um, my flight is at 11.55, so I do have time. However, I need to leave my house in less than an hour. And this is currently how my floor is looking like. Now, I think one of my toxic traits is I don't make use of my luggage allowance. My luggage allowance for this trip is 23 kg. And currently in this bag, like... <gasps> It's almost one sec. It's basically packed. So I'm thinking, even though I'm meant to leave here in about an hour, I'm thinking to basically take an actual suitcase. <laughs> so I have less than an hour to transfer that into there and also add any extra bits. Also, um, I'm going to be travelling to Gatwick Airport as well, which isn't the closest to me. It, it's gonna cost, it normally costs over £100 to take a taxi. However, I'm planning on taking a bus to London Bridge, which is in South East London, and then catching a train from there. I think it's about two stops to Gatwick. Okay, so it's currently nine minutes past eight. Things are looking good. I've dashed everything in here which I should have done to begin with. Like, if you're paying for luggage, why are you trying to squeeze things into a smaller one? I'm just putting things into my backpack and then I'm gonna make my way to leave my house. Whew, winners, I don't know how, but I've managed to do it. Like, my suitcase is packed. Then I panicked, because I realized that the padlock that I thought would be suitable for my suitcase wasn't. But luckily I had spare ones, taken out the bins. Whew, I've got like 10 minutes to spare and then I need to leave and catch my bus. Yeah, one of the things I definitely want to do for 2023 is actually make use of my luggage allowance because I'm always using that tiny little black bag, which is ridiculous because technically, if I'm going for like a quick little two to three days, fine, but I feel like anything over the three days mark, I definitely need a bigger suitcase. What I wanted to say is, I remember earlier on this year when I solo traveled to Ghana and I was staying in a different part of Ghana than what I'm normally used to. In the vlog, I said that I was feeling really anxious and then some people tried to be really mean and was like, oh, you're not anxious when you go to Europe, but when you go to Africa, where you're originally from, all of a sudden you're anxious. You always get people that always want to take what you want to say out of context. However, what I realised that I don't normally share is that actually before every single solo travel trip that I do, I feel anxious. Like this morning, I woke up early. I normally wake up quite early than I need to be and I was lying there and I was like, do I, oh, this piece of hair is really irritating me. Guys, what do you think of my lock knots as well? Let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are. Obviously, I've done lock knots before and normally I like it, but this time round, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it at all, but I'm gonna have my hair like this for the trip and probably when I get back, I'm gonna just take it out. I don't know why, but I don't like how it looks and some of it is not really cooperating like this one right here. Y'all see that? It's irritating me. Um, but yeah, before every single trip, I feel really anxious. Like this morning, I was lying there thinking to myself, Winnie, do you really want to do this trip? Are you sure you just don't wanna stay home and just chill? I get anxious every trip regardless of whether I'm going to Africa, Europe, it doesn't matter where. For some reason, nowadays, I experience real bad anxiety and I start questioning myself, like, maybe I should stay, maybe I shouldn't do this. And I know that it's not my gut. I know that it's coming from a place of fear. And remember, over here, we try to operate outside of fear, minus when it comes to swimming and heights and theme parks. <laughs> So yeah, literally, I question myself every single time before a trip if I really want to do it. You know, if I cancel it and I lose my money on the flights or whatever, it's really not that deep. That's that's the voice that in my head that that's what the voice in my head 
would tell me and I always ignore it because every time I go on the trips I always end up having a banging experience and if you've been following me for a long time you would know that this is not my first time going to Malta I've been to Malta several times over the years I couldn't even tell you what number this is of me going I've done previous vlogs which I'll link up here um so you would think that I wouldn't feel that way and you'd also think in regards to Ghana I wouldn't feel that way because I've been to Ghana several times but I always do before every single trip anyway that's enough of me talking let's get out of here before we miss our flight guys I've made it on the train for the exact train that I wanted to as well I don't know how but um, that journey was really smooth. This is my first time, I believe, heading to Gatwick Airport from my new place. And you know what? I thought it was going to be awkward, but it's actually been pleasantly easy. The bus journey was literally about 20 minutes because obviously it's quite early in the morning and there's no traffic. Um, and I'm currently at London Bridge Station. It's only two stops on this train to Gatwick Airport. So I believe this journey is about 33 minutes on this train and it's relatively empty. So I'm really chuffed about that. Now that I'm getting closer to the airport, I'm really looking forward to this trip. So I'm all checked in. I was checked in by 10 a.m. It's currently about, I think maybe 10 or quarter past 10. I'm literally just sat here waiting to find out my gate number. I've also picked up some bits, you probably can't see it, but I've got myself a tuna salad and a bottle of water, simply because I don't really like plain food, so yeah. I have finally arrived. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this hairstyle is getting on my nerves. Like, it was all over my face. And if you know me well, I get really hot and flustered easily. So, a part of me is feeling to even take it out tonight, you know, I can't lie. But anyway, I've made it to this place. You know guys, normally when I come off the plane, I would vlog, let you know my first thoughts and stuff like that, yeah. This is like the first time that I've stepped off the plane and I'm wearing my, my Gymshark hoodie and I was also wearing like my massive black coat and I wasn't hot. Um, it's relatively like it's warm, but it's not, it wasn't mad, mad hot. Anyway, I got into a very good conversation with my taxi driver. It turns out that he's not only just a taxi driver, but he also owns a restaurant and he's really well traveled as well. So we were having such a good conversation. I didn't even bother to vlog my journey up here. Nevertheless, I've got to my apartment. I'm going to show y'all how it looks like. It was a bit of a tricky one because I had to do a self check-in, which I wasn't aware about, but um, luckily the contact numbers for the host was on the front of the hotel. So I just managed to call one of them and they helped me out. Anyway, so when you come in, this is the view. We'll get into that shortly. To the left hand side, here's the toilet and the shower. Um, I must admit, I really love, love, love how simplistic but classy it looks. I didn't even show you on my fit today, did I, guys? I'm literally just wearing my Gymshark tracksuit. You lot have seen me wear this many times, but um, hoodie, baggy tracksuit bottoms, black Adidas crepe, and my bomb bag. Um, and then when you come out, You've got a cute little kitchen area. 
if you know you want to make some tea or whatever um got glasses got plates i'm not gonna lie i have actually realized that i do like these kind of style of hotels where it's got a bit of a homely feel to it basically you've got your little oven as well if you want it i wonder what's in here okay like a pattern then you've got your fridge here lovely lovely jobly what i really like though is guys look they left me a free bottle of wine which i think is really 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 cute i'm so gonna enjoy that and a glass as well um because with this i do believe that there was two options either get a free taxi from the airport to here or get a free bottle of wine I initially opted for the taxi, but they said that the taxi option is only available during the summer season, and obviously it's not summer season. So I was like, okay, cool. I'll just go for the wine option then. Anyway, so as you can see, table, two chairs here. Then there's like two single beds, which I guess this was as much as they could put together, um, which is cute. Um, yeah, everything else itself. Explanatory. I've literally just got in, so I haven't even like properly looked around myself. So okay, spare pillows. I like this. I like the simplicity of it. Um, I guess if I get cold, there's like a bedspread, which I think is really cute for somebody like myself that does kind of get. What's my camera doing? Right. If I get cold, I can just use that if I wanted to. Got a safety box here um and that's lovely they've left the instructions on how to use it and spare towels as well i believe i saw towels yet there's got some on my bed i'm not expecting fantastic views to be honest because i just saw buildings when i came but yeah i'm not gonna open uh the the door because i know it's evening times and i don't want flies to come in but literally you can kind of see it's just literally views of buildings nothing fascinating i think i also overlooked here so there's a nice mirror right there hair dryer flat screen tv telephone i guess for if i need any help from the reception but the reception are closed they seem to close pretty early to be honest um what's this i'm guessing this might be like a restaurant that's nearby or something um oh wi-fi connection cool i think it's just um a bunch of like useful numbers to use i suppose in regards to how much this cost me at the moment as i'm filming this i'm not too sure so i will place it here you know when you get to somewhere and you're kind of like okay what do i do now because here is not like Fort Aventura that I recently went to it's not I don't want to say like a proper hotel but it's like for example I've come and reception are, are closed apparently they close really early so it's not like I can go downstairs and contact reception and be like oh by the way if I need to do, do what do I do no um it's literally a case of figuring things out for myself uh what I do like to do when I do arrive though is I do like to kind of unpack and all of that good stuff i'm still contemplating on if i'm gonna take out my hair or not because it is winding me up and i also feel like it's um irritating my forehead i don't know if y'all can see but like i'm starting to get spots on my forehead and i really don't like that so i flew with air motor it cost me 180 pound in total including luggage so obviously if i didn't have luggage to check in it would have been a lot cheaper than that i'm here in malta for five nights so I think £180 is very reasonable, personally. Um, the service was... I mean, I didn't really need much from them because I'd already bought my salad and my water anyway. Um, but it's funny how the business and the economy thing is set up. Because literally, I was sat right behind a guy that was in business section. And it's so funny because we had a little bit of a disagreement. You know those people that just want to um how what's the what's the word 
for those people that really want to put like put their chair all the way back so that they can sleep y'all know what i'm talking about is the word has escaped me i was eating so imagine i'm eating right behind him i've got the little table thing and i'm having my salad and he's just continuously putting his chair back but he's reclined now that's it he's reclined it all the way back so i my immediate response is like to push him forward because if he goes any further my salad is going to spill all over me he's now turned round and i'm like yeah you're going all the way back i'm eating my food is about to spill on me he was like well it would have been nice if you had just told me that okay did you tell me that you was gonna recline your seat all the way back no you didn't sir do not give me that attitude right so then he pulls his thing up and i'm like thank you then he goes you're welcome i said you know what i'm just gonna let that slide i continue eating um and then about maybe 10 minutes later he looks back and i'm like yeah i finished eating if you want to like pull it all the way back do your thing and he's like oh you know like i'm sorry about earlier i didn't want to disturb you da, da, da. and i'm like that's fine it's cool do your thing okay um but yeah flying of air mortar seems it seems cool only thing that was annoying me was obviously something like that which we rectified anyway a lot of people are coughing and sneezing which is beyond air mortars um capacity they can't do nothing about that uh somebody was continuously passing off wind again something that air mortar can't do so all in all it was an it was an okay flight it did what it needed to do i've landed here safely um i have no idea what i'm gonna do this evening i have no idea where i'm gonna eat um i haven't stayed in this part of malta before so in case y'all don't know i've been to malta many times um i've stayed at is it saint I want to say St. Paul, St. George. I can't remember, but I've stayed where the part where there's the, there's a party strip. I've stayed there before. I've also stayed in Malaya quite a few times. Um, I'm currently basically at St. Paul's at the moment. So I'm very inclined to probably go for a walk to kind of see what is around before I jump in the shower. Guys now i know why i'm extra hot and flustered i've just started my period i was expecting it tomorrow so it has come a whole day early but bro i am so lucky that i am wearing all black because yeah had i been wearing another color it would have been crazy anyway luckily for me i was expecting this so i have come prepared sorted out um, I've seen that there's a shop nearby Apparently it's a very Round the corner literally walk for me So I'm just gonna Get my purse Change over my bag And I'm gonna go to the shop and just big up, big up, Pick up Some bits and bobs I think that's what I'm gonna do Can you not see the way that I'm sweating As in I'm sweating for no reason A massive part of me Has got me feeling to just stay indoors this evening i'm not gonna lie like i'm drenched in sweat and i just feel very not that i feel sick but obviously because i'm on everything is just in heightened but anyways guys i went to the shop i couldn't film because it was just too hectic i've just spent 19 euros and i'm gonna show you guys on what personally i think it's worth it though because it will allow for me to not spend too much like for example if i decide to wake up tomorrow morning and maybe i don't want to go look for something to eat and i want to chill out a little bit i can do that anyway um one sec I get two and I get three. Firstly, I really love um, the vegan Kit Kats. And for some weird reason, I haven't been able to get it in London anymore. So I was really happy to see this. So oh, I picked up three, I'm not gonna lie. I think it was like 85 cent or something, can't remember. Um, I picked up some cereal, so a fruit granola and also they have my oat milk this is the oat milk that i use when i'm in the uk they have it here which is brilliant i literally went to the corner shop it was about a three minute walk picked up some pringles a little bit cheeky i know uh, the main reason why i went to the shop in the first place was for water so
I placed something on the cooker and it started talking. Right, so I think the Pringles I've shown y'all, I've got me two small bottles of water. The second one's here. Um, I've got me two big bottles as well in hopes that it should last me for the next couple of days. I also thought, you know what, seeing as I'm on and I'm feeling a little bit, let me pick up some Tetley tea. So it's an immune one that's been specially formulated to boost your immune system from vitamin C as well. So it contains things like rose hip, hibiscus, apple, ginger root, orange peel, blackberry leaves, licorice, vitamin C, lemon peel. Um, I figured, considering that I've been in a plane with everyone that was flipping coffee and shit, and I picked up some pot noodles. Um, I recently gave pot noodles a try, specifically this flavour. It's okay. Um, I think it's something that's very easy for you to eat on the go. Like, for example, if this evening I don't feel like getting dressed up to go out, I could literally just put hot water in this and that's flipping dinner. Have a Kit Kat and call it a night. I also got a Bombay flavour. Um, but yeah, that's what I got. I'm not going to lie. I just, I don't feel nice at all. Um, it's a bit of a shame because I really, y'all can see I'm literally dripping. This is crazy. Like, and this is normal by the way. It's like when I'm on my period, in general I get hot and flustered easy. But when I'm on my period, especially like the first day, curtains. Like everywhere, my hair is drenched, my everything is drenched. I don't want to doll myself up, look all cute and just be sweating anyhow in a restaurant. So, weirdly enough, I think... Uh, I'm gonna see 2023 just chilling in my bed, eating pot noodles and watching TV. And you know what the funniest thing is? I'm really excited about that. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna round up this vlog right here. I'm also gonna use this evening if I'm not gonna go out. I might as well just use this evening to plan what I'm gonna do for the rest of this trip because I have nothing planned, nothing whatsoever. There's not a single excursion that I have booked. So this is today's fit. I'm wearing a black denim jacket, black midi dress, got my bag, and also black trainers that y'all cannot see. Hey winners, so today is the 1st of January 2023. I want to wish y'all a very happy new year. From the bottom of my heart, I hope that this year brings you nothing but happiness, inner peace, and everything positive that your heart desires. I'm not going to lie to you, this is the first time, probably, maybe the first time ever, that I'm away in a gorgeous location. And I'm not gonna lie, I feel really, really shit. I feel internally shit. I feel really, really sad today. And I know that there's no particular reason other than the facts of mother nature, but it's weird because normally when I'm on, I don't feel how I feel. Like I'm not in any pain, but my mood has just been very meh, extremely low since last night. Um, today, it took everything within me to even leave my bed and get dressed and whatnot. Even right now as I'm filming, I feel really ugly today. And that's not me even fishing for compliments or anything like that. That's just how I, I genuinely feel. Um, and it actually makes me fa feel even more sad that I feel that way. Um, but I'm very much a person that's like, you know what? You might be feeling low, you might be feeling down. But I know that I was put on this earth for a reason. And that is to encourage people regardless of how I feel. And also by encouraging others by expressing how I feel. Because someone may be able to relate to how I feel. And then we can just all just um, 
and just normalize feeling some type of way whether it's down to hormones whether it's life lifeing whatever it may be um so as some of you may know this is not the first time that i've come to malta i think i have said that in previously at the start of the vlog or whatever um with here it was like here's where i kick started my solo my love for solo traveling right and when i was looking at destinations that were affordable to visit for new years here came up and so i was like you know what why not but in terms of excursions i don't know what excursions i'm gonna do because i have come here multiple times i want to say this might be my fourth or fifth time coming um it's just my first time visiting or just staying in this location i believe it's called bijiba that i'm staying at so it's the northern region of malta and it's a part of the saint paul's zone uh for the most part they have like a lot of like restaurants the nightlife is popping a lot of families stay here you could probably see behind me there's kids running up and down and whatnot um but in terms of excursions i have no idea what i'm gonna do because i've come here multiple times and i feel like i've done all of the excursions that i possibly can and i filmed which i'm gonna link somewhere up here so i'm gonna try to work out things that i haven't done so for example i think there's the aquarium that i haven't done so i'm i'll probably go to there um but i don't know what kind of vlogs i'm gonna be doing out here honestly really and truly but one thing that i have decided is minus ghana which is home going forward i'm not going to keep redoing places unless there's a reason for me to do so or unless maybe i'm staying in a different part of a country of significance where it's gonna have like a wow factor guys i've just been walking on like a really long strip and literally it's just non-stop like you can walk for ages and enjoy the views and there's different like restaurants etc speaking of the aquarium not me accidentally finding out where it is like i legit thought it would be really far that's actually so hilarious how you can find stuff by just walking around because i probably would have paid taxi to come but it seems like it's literally just here <laughs> so at least now i know if i decide to come whether it's tomorrow or whatever i can literally just walk i think if i had just walked it straight from where i'm staying to this aquarium i want to say it's probably about a 25 minute walk which isn't bad at all that is so cool the aquarium i think is right there and then right next to it there's a food spot but to lighten up the mood one thing that i will say is that at least this trip will help me to um work on my resting bitch face because y'all know my chat record if you've been watching my solo travels especially as of late because i'm friendly and i'm respectful i'm open to people talk to me men and i can see a lot of men have been looking at me and i've just literally just been shoop, tunnel vision um because i'm not even trying to go there i'm not even trying to entertain any of that shit on this trip um wow guys look at the amount of cars parked here i'm assuming it's probably for the aquarium and maybe the restaurant and stuff guys these views are just so breathtaking it's one of my many favorite things about this place like look at it i found a seat so i figured i'd sit down for a bit and just admire the views um it's crazy to have to film like this because if i film like that y'all can't see me and the sun is like coming this way it's currently almost 5 p.m and i'm not gonna lie yeah it's quite chilly it's not like warm i'm feeling really cold and it's so funny because on the way like when i was packing in the uk i was contemplating whether or not i should pack this jeans jacket i was like no it's gonna be 17 or 18 it's gonna be warm i'm really cold like my nose is running so i figured what i'm going to do is to be honest i don't want to spend too much money on this trip this trip is going to be very budget especially as i've just booked a ticket 
to another destination for Easter so I'm gonna make use of probably the pot noodle one of the pot noodles I bought yesterday um, and then basically take it from there to be honest so oh the lighting is much better on this side um so i think my plan for tomorrow is i'm going to go to the national aquarium i'm gonna take y'all with me um and i'm contemplating which beach i want to go to if i want to go to the golden bay beach or malaya beach um i've been to both before in previous vlogs uh so if you do want to look at my old motor vlogs then please feel free um so i think that's probably going to be the agenda tomorrow um also there's a restaurant that i do want to check out that does good seafood called venus restaurant i believe they are probably the only restaurant that i'm probably gonna try on this trip just because i need to really focus on my budget if i want to make the rest of january work well for me um as well as put money to the side for the trip that I've booked which I'm really excited about um, I'm not gonna say where I'm going to just yet because I'm a little bit superstitious but um, I think I'm gonna round up today's vlog you know so I just want to say thank you so much for watching this vlog um, let me know in the comment section below thank you let me know in the comment section below what was the best part of this vlog or any thoughts that you have I know that my mood hasn't been the usual wobbly self but i would much rather be real than fake with y'all so yeah until my next one take care be good